Hey, 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 this is Christine, your DIY craftaholic. Welcome back if you are returning and welcome to you if you are new. Guess what, guys? This video is all about my very own collaboration, Pink Lemonade. Yes, this was not just about food or drink. It was also about decor. And most of all, to have fun doing it. I extended the offer to you guys without a channel, but I didn't hear back from anyone by the deadline, so I don't have any of those DIYs to show. <laughs> guys, I'm also so close to 1,000 subscribers, and I have a giveaway announcement to make further in the video. So enough about my gabbing, and let's jump in. So for DIY number one, I'm going to reuse the sign that I used for another video. I mixed some of this Acreology yellow paint and some Apple Barrel Cameo Pink. And I try to get as close as possible to pink lemonade shade, but it didn't come out as I wanted it to. And so I added some pink Parfait and then some more yellow and some red and then mix them all up together until I was almost satisfied. Quite not what I wanted, but hey, this can work. I then applied two coats of my mixed paint to the sign, and here it is. I then applied a coat of Mod Podge to it, and after it dried, I'm taking a sheet of this scrapbook paper Yes, I think this yellow one looks like lemon. <laughs> now it's a little difficult to get a ruler inside to measure the distance. So I use a piece of jute cord that's very flexible. And then once I have the measurement down, I then put that on the paper and, and cut that out. And as you can see with my hand or my wrist, at the time of making this video, it was hurting a little bit so I had to wrap it up. I just went to bed one night and woke up with pain in my wrist so I had to wrap that up. But for this day, I woke up and I iced it and wrapped it and it was okay for, for crafting and so I made most of the day. So after I measured and cut, I applied some Mod Podge to the inside and then placed the paper in and then used this little burnisher and my Mod Podge roller to make sure I got all the bubbles out. <laughs> Here I was trying not to aggravate my hand, so I was being ambidextrous. Now this welcome sign is from a pack of metal words from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint it, so I applied some Mod Podge first. That helps to hold the, mod, the paint in. After it dried, I painted it with a coat of Waverly Black paint in ink. And then after that dried, I added some more Mod Podge to seal it. And of course, for quick drying, I use my heat gun. In times like these, I so do appreciate my tools that make crafting easier. In my description box below, there's a list of all the tools that I use in my DIYs. If you're interested in any of those, you can grab them from Amazon. I then cut some pieces of skewer to about three quarters of an inch. And that is just to raise the word off the paper and I'm just placing them in the widest parts of the words so they're not visible. And after that, I just glued them on. And I made this small bow added some boxwood pick and glued that on. And that was a little too blah. So I topped it off with half of a wooden bead. And here it is, more in the final reveal. Now on to DIY number two. Now this is my statement piece. I got this jug of lemonade summer sign from Dollar Tree. And it took me about two minutes to remove the string <laughs> but I got it done I then removed the little fruit pieces and set them aside because I'll be reusing them and to get the paper off I just placed a sheet of damp paper towel over the surface and sat it aside to soak 
for maybe about 15 minutes while I worked on something else. So here I'm removing the paper and it came off so easy. I then sanded it down using my left hand. I've never depended on my left hand so much as I did in this video. <laughs> Hello left hand, you did great. <laughs> and after I sanded it down, I used a piece of rag just to clean off the dust. And here I am mixing paint again, but I only needed a small amount here. But rather than mixing it in a large amount, I just brought the colors together by picking up each color on the brush. And I'll be doing reverse stenciling. So I painted just the, ha the middle of the board and dried it. And I thought it needed a little bit more pop. So I added some more mixed paint and applied that. Now I'm selecting the letters from this sticker pack to place on the board. And to make sure the letters were evenly spaced, I use a ruler to measure the distance. And this is what I'm spelling. Jug of pink lemonade. And as you can see, I arch the lemonade. So after laying down all the letters, this is what it looks like. I love it. Now to get a base coat, I used some Waverly White chalk paint, making sure it was evenly painted. Guys, in my head, I knew that I needed an ombre effect to look like there was juice in this jug. So I stopped at three quarters of the inch or three quarters of the way down and then started from the bottom up with some more mixed paint. And then I just painted over all of that with the rest of the paint to get this orangey pinkish color. And here it is. I kind of love the white peeking through above the orange at the bottom there. It looks like the jug is frosted at the top. So now I took my weeding tool, this is from the Dollar Tree, and I'm removing the letters. And the letters were, some of the letters actually, were a bit soaked with the paint and some, and so it didn't come up all the way. But no worries, I just used a little red paint and colored in the little spots that needed it. And then applied some more Mod Podge for sealing. Now, welcome back to my awesome subscribers and to those stopping by for the first time, welcome. Where have you been all this time? <laughs> but I'm so happy that you decided to click on my video today. Here on my channel, I do budget-friendly DIYs of all kinds, which take the forms of dupes, look for less, thrift flips, and sometimes when the opportunity presents itself, I'll do Dollar Tree shopping hauls. If you love budget-friendly DIYs like these and you have not yet subscribed, I would love if you would consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Hit it again and select all so YouTube notifies you whenever I upload new videos. And of course, leave me a comment down below because I love, I enjoy reading your comments. Now back to crafting. I then took a piece of jute twine and glued that on the back wrapped it around the rim a few times and then glued the other end where I started. Then glued on, the back, glued on back the little melon slice for embellishment. So I got this spool of daisy ribbon from BB Craft and I love it. This is my first time using it actually. If you are interested in getting some of these, there's a link with a $5 coupon code in my description box to order yours from the website. So I just cut a piece off and glued it on just like so. Then just tacked it down in the middle. And I added back the string and now this is complete. More in the final reveal. 
Now guys, September will be two years since I started my channel here on YouTube and I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the end of September, so I need your help. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Now on to DIY number three. Now the next two DIYs are very simple. This is a wooden decor piece that I got. I haven't used, so I just decided to redo it. It took me a while to get the sticker off, but once I did, I gave it two coats of white paint. And this is a napkin from a pack I got from Dollar Tree. And I think the little popsicles were perfect to complement my theme. So I removed one panel and cut off each popsicle to try and make them fit on the board. And when I was satisfied how I wanted to place them, I separated the plies, added some Mod Podge to the board and then just placed them on top. I'm so very thankful for all of you whom have helped me to get to where I am today. So at the end of September, to celebrate my goal, I will have two giveaways. Two subscribers will have the chance to win prizes plus one of my journals. Yes, I have two journals on Amazon. Links are in my description box for that too. <laughs> so make sure to subscribe and share this video to your friends and get them to subscribe as well. And then I used a nail file to just remove the excess filing in a downward motion. And to give it a little pop, I used a little bit of antique wax on a piece of cloth to just distress the edges. And you'll see the final reveal in the end. Now DIY number four. This one is also, like I said, the last two would be very easy. This is one of my next favorite. And I think this captures the pink lemonade color perfectly. This is a twin pack of bandanas that I got from Dollar Tree around me. Like I said, I'm crafting my stash <laughs> and I love them so much. It was hard to decide whether I should really cut this. But anyway, I selected this one with the flowers and I got this picture frame also from Dollar Tree as well. And it has this fox or four <laughs> stitch border and that is what drew me to it, plus the color. Now this is pretty simple and straightforward, so I'll just let you watch. So if you'd like to connect with me outside of YouTube, check my link tree in my description box. There you will find all my social media links, Pinterest, Instagram, and buy me a coffee. And I also want to just pause here and take this time to thank all my friends who joined me on this collaboration. Ladies, I truly appreciate having you join me today. And guys, please make sure to watch all the videos on the playlist and also to visit each channel and let them know I sent you. I will pin the playlist link in my comment for easy access. Now to wrap up this DIY, I just use the same piece sheet of paper or same sheet of paper that came out of it and use that to cut down the fabric and I left about a quarter of an inch on the outer parts and then I'm just gluing down that edge because this is simple like I said you can use reuse this you can remove that inner part and put a picture in however you want to do it. So, but for this purpose, I'm using this fabric and I think it turned out okay because it blended in with the shade of the frame. And after I glued it on, I just slide it back into the frame, put the back back on and this is done. So now for the final reveal, here is my cute floral picture frame <laughs> and the welcome sign. and the little wooden popsicle sign and then my jug of pink lemonade sign now this one is a little dark because i used a different camera to take the picture and here is a picture of all of them 
Now let me know which one of these DIYs was your favorite today. Don't forget also to visit the playlist. And if you like DIYs on a budget, I suggest this video and this playlist. And guys, stay safe until next time. Bye.